Team. A dwindling city hall in picturesque Bloomfield, Kentucky is leaving residents with many unanswered questions. The folks who live in the Nelson County town are just now finding out that their police chief, city clerk and several other officials are no longer on the job. WHS 11 night teams Connor Steffen and photojournalist Elijah McKenzie went to Bloomfield tonight where employees say some resigned while others they believe were unjustly fired. In Bloomfield, Kentucky, City Hall staff is shrinking. Positions that are now gone, police chief, city clerk, superintendent, and two maintenance tech positions. All within the past week, Bloomfield employees tell us on Friday, City Mayor Chris Dudgeon fired police chief Steve Cameron. Uh, it's very uneasy. I feel very uneasy. I feel very sad. City clerk Karen Biederman also fired. I want nothing but the best for the city. I say it's unjust. Again, you. you you had two people. This was their means of living. In response, the now former yeah. Public Works Superintendent Travis Clark handed in his resignation. So why resign? I mean, that's your means of making a living. Because I feel right is right and wrong is wrong. My conscience wouldn't let me stand by and see two, two honest people terminated for doing the right thing. Several former and current city officials believe the firings could be in response to an ongoing investigation here in the city. Nelson County Sheriff Ramon Pinaroa tells us his office will soon take over that investigation, previously led by former Bloomfield Police Chief Steve Cameron. The now former employees, Police Chief Steve Cameron, City Clerk Karen Biederman, and Superintendent Travis Clark tell us the investigation surrounded the misuse of city funds. Two current city council members also confirming it. In a statement to WHAS 11, Mayor Dudgeon said, quote, there have been recent personnel changes, but it will not affect the operations of the city or services provided to our citizens. Even with that, the residents are still left wondering. I would just like to know what his plan is. And As they wait, Bloomfield is left with a fragmented government. If there was an emergency with our water, what would happen? There's a lot that plays into the fact and nobody, there's nobody here to answer them. Left without answers, a small town waits. They need to know what's going on. I have no words. I feel like we deserve better than that. Anxiously as their home, its government, and future remains up in the air. In Bloomfield, Kentucky, Connor Steffen, the WHAS 11 night team on your side.